Hi guys, Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, let me just make sure I get my camera kind of situated. No, that's not what we want. There we go. Let me see about this being put here. So you guys can see things. All right. Just talk amongst yourselves while I get my camera set up so you guys can see everything. Okay, what this is. put it down like this okay there we go and if I put it up okay what this is is this is um, a Jane Davenport haul video she Jane Davenport is a mixed media artist for those who don't know but most people know and she came out with a um, she, she makes her own art supplies but this whole line of art supplies made is fabulous it's it's made to look like uh, makeup She's a big, huge Jeffree Star fan, so am I. And um, she loves cosmetics. So she, everything she made looks like makeup, you guys. It is so fabulous. The products are beautiful and so fun to use. So first thing I want to start out with is we're going to start out with this frame. Okay, this black frame. And it has her name on the top right there. Okay, so here's the frame. It's a metal frame. Well, she has brushes. These brushes right here. And these brushes have magnets on the um, on the uh, top of them, and I'm going to show you guys right now. So here's this brush, and here there's a magnet at the top. Okay, but look at these beautiful brushes, you guys. I'm only going to use these brushes with watercolor. They are so beautiful because watercolors don't ruin your brushes like acrylics do. I have other brushes I've designated to acrylics, but. Are these fabulous look how flipping beautiful these brushes are okay and there's a magnet there here's this one I haven't even used these brushes yet they're so beautiful now I would advise to um, if you want to buy a lot of her products like I did I bought a lot of her products with 20% off total purchase in fact they have that at Michaels today 20% off total purchase today um, and then I, at the same time, my Michaels, cause they're cool. If your Michaels is cool, they'll let you use your 40 or 50% off one item. So that's what I did. And I used a 50% off this item or 40%. So this was around $40. I probably got, I think I used a 50% off. So I think I ended up getting it for 20. It's regularly $40. This is one of the most expensive items she has are these brushes with this frame, this metal frame. Okay. So I want to show you guys how this metal frame works. Okay. So. Here is the brush, and you just go like this. See? And it holds on there. So I'll just do it to all the brushes. Click. And what why oh why you want to do this is like after you rinse your brushes, this is how you can store the brushes and they can drip dry upside down. How perfect, huh? So that's how that works. See? If you move them too much, um, they kind of move, but anyway, so they are clicked in there isn't that so cool i love it you know i just wanted to separate them a little bit more so we everyone has it's, those two want to click together for some reason whatever but so you can see how that works okay so that's it with that okay you can't i just move you can't move it like and lay it flat because then it loses its mag it's magnetic you have to stay right up so that's what you heard just now so anyway okay next thing i want to show you are these brushes this is another brush set that i got which i am loving okay look at this brush for one look how beautiful it is uh gorgeous you can use these with her pastels, or you can use this with watercolors or acrylics. This is going to mainly, again, be used for watercolors, especially for watercolor backgrounds. Fabulous. You can get up and around things with how this is, how it has this curve on it. But just look how beautiful that is. <gasps> obsessed. I haven't used any of these brushes yet because I'm obsessed with them. Okay. Look at that one with the point on the end. When you have a point on the end, you can do a numerous amount of things with the brush. So I love that. And look at that with the mermaid on the end. I love it. It has mermaid scales and it has the mermaid fin. And then this one is so beautiful. This reminds me actually, um, 
Dollar Tree has a brush like this. I'll show it to you. I thought this was funny, and I heard it, had already bought it. Look at that. How funny, huh? Almost looks the same. Isn't that funny? But hers is way bigger. And actually, uh, actually a lot more dense as far as the, the fibers. But she likes it. You can use this for, um, for just cleaning off like pastel powder and stuff like that. When um, you're using the pastels and you need to kind of, you know, clean up the paper with the neat pastel left residue left over so these are fabulous i have them in a beautiful glass that i've created to keep mine in and i love it okay next oh and those brushes sorry i didn't tell you to talk about the price i like to talk about the price and i did say michael's right where you get everything i told you about the coupon um this right here i think was 20 and i used a 40 percent off on this one i went a few different times so some things are expensive like this i went and used to 20 or, went and used a 40 or 50 percent off so if i used a 40 percent on this this was 20 bucks this was right around 12 dollars. so great price great deal love it okay next and people are going to ask me they ask me every video why do i have this mirror okay i use my phone my phone is facing up towards the ceiling right with the viewfinder here down i can't see my phone i can't see if i'm in frame so what i do so that i don't have to keep getting up to see if i'm in frame i just use my mirror and one of my subbies told me about that and i thought uh genius okay these are pastels to me these remind me of pan pastels the real expensive ones that everyone buys that cost a million dollars at the art supply stores to me that's what these look like and act like they are so silky here is what the packaging looks like isn't that gorgeous flipping love this okay look at this you open it up and look at all the beautiful colors Oh, my God. we're going to go ahead and swatch some of these in a second, but I just want to show them to you all first. Okay. And she always puts her beautiful artwork on the packaging. Look how these look like the most beautiful makeup palettes. You want to use these on your face. No, they are for your mixed media. So beautiful. I've already you've been using all of these. I absolutely am obsessed. I will be buying two of each palette. Oh, let me show you the artwork that's on the front. There's the artwork. I will be buying two of each because if she ever stops making these, I will die. Jane, she doesn't watch my videos anyway, but if you are listening, you can never stop making these. Ever. Ever. So beautiful. In fact, some of the colors you need to like have, you know, little ones we can buy. Just that color. <laughs> She's like, okay. Um, Look at the artwork on that one. That gorgeous. Did I show the artwork on this one? I don't think I did. The last one I just showed you. There's the artwork on that one. I think this is birthday suit. It's my favorite one. Yeah, it's birthday suit. That's my favorite one. And then here's the artwork on this one. Now this one is like um like uh mineral eyeshadows with like the metallics in them. You know those mineral based eyeshadows and they're all metallic-y or baked eyeshadows. That's what these remind me of. And they have a lot of sparkle to them. They're gorgeous. And these look really good on black paper or darker skin tones. They show up really, really nice. So, weird. let me grab a piece of cardstock, which I can... Oh, wait, I have it right here. I was like, I can't believe I don't have a piece of cardstock. I do. Let me get these paper towels. Fold it and out of the way. Okay. I do have it right here. You guys, I have done this same video like 20 million times. It's ridiculous how many times i've had to do this video anyway i won't even go through everything i've been through to make this video <laughs> all right i'm just gonna get myself in frame here all right back is better okay first palette we'll look at is the birthday suit and this i have these little oh these little gnats in my room and they're just irritating me um, this is birthday suit. This is my favorite one. And let me tell you why it's my favorite one. This color right here and these two colors I shade with all the time, my girls. Let me share something else with you. There's a thing called Incredible Ink and it's, and it's tinsel. 
if you mix this up to about a tea dye color with some water, um, you, you can put it, you can make it from a light shaded uh, skin tone to a pretty nice deep dark woman of color skin tone. Okay, by putting on, you mix it up to a tea color, but by putting on like three or four coats, you get to a really nice dark deep skin tone. So I use this, then to shade, to do all my shading, I use this and I use this color here. And I love it. it the skin tones are gorgeous. In fact, let me show you. Let me show you. I got some stuff that I've done. Okay. Look how beautiful that is. That's the tinsel color. This is like a mid-tone skin color, but all the shading is that those two colors are brown. Here's another girl. And this is probably three coats of that tinsel ink for the for her skin tone. Well, ah, maybe two coats. Yeah, the three coats. And then um, and then look at the shading. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, here's her. Now we're getting into some nice deeper skin tones and then look at the shading with the uh, the pastels. All of this is all the pastels. Oh, and so is the eye. The eye makeup is the pastels also. And so is the cheek color. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, these, I am in love with these pan pastels. I call them pan pastels. They're called the pastel palette, but okay. And look at the eyes and the cheeks. I also use those pastels for that. And then all the shading is all the pan pastels. So just wanted to show you quickly what you can do with these. You do need to, when you're done, <coughs> because they're pastels, they can just rub off. So I use this. You can use you can use an acrylic matte spray. This is the one I used, got at Hobby Lobby, used a coupon, paid about three or four dollars for it. Okay. So you just spray them with this, and then that will set everything. So just wanted to show you that. So let's do some samples of this um what is, oh, i have to put this to the side let me see if you guys are still seeing my yeah you guys are still seeing it right there okay so let me show you my two favorite colors right here as far as for skin tones and for shading so here is this brown and i want to show you how they let me see where i'm at with let me come in a little bit. Well, what I'll do is I'll just, you know what? Let me just work. Let me just work from here. And then um, I'll bring it up to the camera. We'll work wide and then I'll bring it up and show you. Um, this is how they go on. And then look, if I want to blend it out, look how it blends out. It blends out like butter. You can also blend it out like this. In fact, that's what we'll do. We'll blend it out like this. Look how it blends out to nothing. Is that fabulous? Now, you guys know if you use pencils, Prismacolor pencils, you have to work out work a lot harder to get things to blend out. You have to use, a, you know, two or three shades of dark, medium, and a light to get it to blend out. Now, I'm going to use the darker color here. And we're going to blend this out. Look how that blends out to nothing. Isn't this just, they're just, they're phenomenal. They're absolutely phenomenal. Okay, I'm going to show you a purple color. I love the purple up there in the corner. Oh, and let me show you what I'm using. I am using just makeup brushes. Now she has her own makeup brushes and I'm going to get those. I was being cheap and didn't do it, but I'm going to because they have like long handles. The handles are like this long with these applicators. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to, I'm going to buy them the next time I get to Michael's. Okay. So I'm using that, this purple color right here. And let's look at that. And then let's just blend it out. Look how gorgeous that is. And it blends out to nothing. Okay, so let's go on to another palette. So that, that palette is called 
birthday suit and it is my favorite palette of all her palettes okay because of the skin tones this is my second favorite that i love let me tell you why it's my second favorite i love this color and this color for eyeshadows together on eyes they are gorgeous so let me show you those two colors you guys this is so fun it's like playing with makeup but you get to use it on for your art supplies it's the flipping bomb okay so let me blend this out and these are two see the different shades of purple they're barely they're very distinguishable but they're a little bit different and then this is that um that fuchsia color i'm going to put it right up next to this purple and kind of blend them together because this eye it makes a beautiful eyeshadow How pretty those are together love them just a second those little stupid gnats i'm talking about about to get in my drink Woo! about to get so mad okay look how beautiful aren't those gorgeous so on an eye you guys those make a beautiful eyeshadow color combination together okay so i i, I am going to do a um i am going to swatch all these palettes and i will do it on uh camera um just not today i'm just i'm just showing you my haul so and there's three parts of this haul so make sure you go to all three parts i think you'll really be happy if you go to all three parts because there's a lot of cool stuff okay so let's try the pink here on this one and this pink is just a you know let me get the excess off of here i'm using that same brush but we want to get the true color going Okay, so this is just a little bit lighter pink. That's the difference between those two pinks. Pretty. And let's do, get a different one of these wands. Let's do this purple here. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a deeper purple than that other one. And we'll kind of connect it to this so we can put these together because I might use these two together as eyeshadows. And it blends out to nothing. Okay, so let me show you those two. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, let's try, I want to try some of these blues. Like, let's go for this blue. Blend that out. Look at that. Can you guys believe how these work? They just blend out into nothing. It's like ridiculous. It's ridiculously awesome. These would make some beautiful eyeshadows on my girls too. Now, if you you do mixed media, you don't have to. I do girls. I love to do girls' faces and makeup and hair and all that on my girls when I'm drawing. Um, you don't have to. Whatever your mixed media is, you can see how to adapt these for whatever you do. But look, how fabulous is all this? So, so, so fun. One other thing I want to try. I want to try one more. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, that's pretty. This gnat is getting on my nerves. We have some house plants and they I think they got gnats, so I got some natural herbs that I natural like um essential oils and I mix them with a little bit of vodka and water and spray. I'm gonna spray the plant. I like to use natural stuff, not not toxins but anyway look how gorgeous that is <sighs> these pan pastels are insane okay now the next thing i want to do is i want to show you these these look like the, like i told you those mineral eyeshadows and they have metallics now these are beautiful on black paper and on white paper they're more pastel -y. so let me show you on dark paper first I'm in frame with this. There we go. Let's go to a blue. Go right here. Blend it out. Okay, absolutely gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that so beautiful? Look how metallic that is. 
You know, if you're doing some type of galaxy work, that could be really, really pretty. Um, let's do the purple here. That could be gorgeous in some galaxy work. Or you're trying to create, like, look, you're trying to create some mist. Look at that. To create mist. Purple mist. Look how pretty that is. Creating some purpley mist. So that's what I'm talking about. I, I always talk about, you know, drawing my girls. But, you know, I do a lot of different mixed media. But look how beautiful. I just thought about, oh, this is going to be gorgeous. I am going to use this when I do my galaxy work or, like, things in space. Oh, that's going to be cool. This could be uh, smoke. This can be, um, um, this could be smoke. This could be um, mist. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So if you want to be smoke, it could be like it could be smoke going like this up in the air. See, it could be mist going that way. Fabulous, and that purple color is gorgeous. Okay, let's look at this pink color over here. Oh, this is pretty. Oops, let's create some pink, some pink. Some pink mist. Oh, gorgeous. So I just wanted to show you guys those how those work. Let's you know, I do want I want to try that one right there. So let's look at this color. Ooh, that's pretty. This is like a gold. I'm going to blend that, just blend it out. That's very pretty. And there's another color right next to it that's like a, it's a yellow color and it has some turquoise in it. Ooh, this could be pretty as mess. Oh, they're just so nice to work with. Oh, that'd be some pretty mess. You guys are just watching me play. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bring these up to the camera so you can see. Just a second. Look at that. That color right there is a gold color. And then this is kind of like a... Uh, this is a goldy gold color, and then this is like a um, bronze color. Gorgeous. See how beautiful those colors look on black paper? Okay, so this is what they look like on white paper. We'll just do a couple of them really quickly. Let's do the purple. And you can see on, on paper, they're going to be a lot less on, on paper. On white, they're um, not as vibrant. They're more vibrant on dark. So I'm just going to show you these two. See? They're not quite as vibrant, but they're still pretty. You can still work with them and you use them on your girls, on your faces, in any of your mixed media. You know, if you guys also color in adult coloring books, these would be great for that. How fun would these be to color in your adult coloring books? Oh, my God. Fabulous. Um... And how much faster is it going to be to do it and get the effects you want? Because you don't have to blend. It blends out it by itself, you guys. Um, if you have stamps, if you love to uh, stamp things out, you can color your stamps up with these. I mean, you guys, your mixed media, if you draw girls, it's just, it's endless. It's endless what you can do with these. These are phenomenal. So, you guys, make sure that you get, I would get all of them. This is the Mineral Eyes. Oh, it's called Mineral Eyes, too. Okay. I would get this one, Mineralize. I would get this one, which is called Chilled. Okay, there's the girl's face. I would get this one, which is called Lit Up. Flip and love it. And this is my favorite one, Birthday Suit. And if I had to choose one to get first, I would get the Birthday Suit first because it has the different shades. Even if you don't want to use that deep a skin tone for shading, 
there's all the other skin tones. See, all right here. You could even do the base of her face, like whatever her skin tone is going to be, like the base of her skin tone. You can use any of these for the lighter ones. See? Or you can use that as the base of the skin tone and use that as darker and then shade with these. Or use this as the base of the skin tone and shade with that or shade with this. Do you see what I'm saying? There's so much play. You've got purple here for eyeshadows. You can use this peach for eyeshadows. You can use that pink for eyeshadows. Um, this is a really good... This palette is awesome. So, Oh, and they even have the white right there. So I would get... If, if I had to choose, I would get the uh, birthday um, birthday suit first. Um, what were these? These were $10. No, they were $20, I think, a piece. And then um, I think on these, I did a 20% off total purchase. So then I paid like, I probably paid 15 or 16 But if you use a 40 or 50% off, you can get it for about 10 to $12. So there's your choices. The best deal, which they haven't come out with it yet, and they probably won't for a while because her stuff just came out. But the best deal at Michael's period is when it's on sale and then you get 20% off total purchase. So it's like, off, like you know when they do the 30 or 40% off? And since it's not clearance, it's on sale, you get 20% on top of that. That's when you get a really good deal. But you probably won't be able to get that on this kind of stuff for a while. So... Okay, you guys, that is it for this one. Go to part two and we'll discuss more products and then go into part three and we'll discuss the rest of the products that I got, my rest of my haul. Okay, you guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you give this video a thumbs up, that'd be great. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And, um, oh, on Instagram, I have a whole bunch of pictures. I just did a thing with Jane Davenport called Arttober and she had a different... Um, a different theme for each day and you drew you drew that theme and you painted it with her stuff and it was fun i did 31 di straight days so i have 31 drawings of girls and they're all painted up with backgrounds and everything you can go to instagram and check that out and my links will be below but go to part two and three so you can see the rest of my haul okay all right talk to you guys later bye